okay uh so boys we had uh, created the volume uh, in the last session so if you see uh, we had created uh where is the block store yeah so so we have created the volume that's fine but what is the next step what are we going to do with that okay uh, <clears throat> so now after few minutes okay uh, after i refreshed it i got the volume here as well how many devices have been connected so the 8 is the root one the 15 is the one which i had created it so i waited for around 5 to 10 minutes and then uh, maximum 5 minutes then i got it back okay now <clears throat> okay before i move on i want to make sure that what we have done and what are we going to do the first one is okay we have created an created an EBS volume which we have done it now next one I'm going to mount it so mount it is nothing but you have to attach that easy to I mean attach the volume to the instance uh, uh, you know <coughs> logically I would say okay you need to form a relationship uh, between the file system and the volume so that's what i would say so we call it as a mounted to an ec2 instance okay uh, which which we did it actually from the aws console the next one is create and mount a file system this is what i was talking about yeah you know in a couple of uh, seconds back so which we are going to the first one is completed okay the second one is also completed the third one which we are going to do right now we are going to do now okay so what are the things first thing i'm going to connect to the instance by hitting on connect i'm gonna connect with ec2 instance connect hit on connect okay cool now i'm just doing an update hyphen y I'm just doing the package manager update so updating all your packages to the latest version okay cool so that is done now next one is the first command which you have to follow which you have to remember is lsblk lsblk i will put it in the screen i mean in the description don't worry so lsblk so what is ls means ls is list and blk means block so you list out the block storage now here lsblk this one xvda so you have to concentrate uh, two things right now okay the second the second line and the third line okay so let me take a screenshot of it and then i'll explain to you real quick okay <coughs> <laughs> okay cool so lsblk so i got this i'll explain you in a second what exactly this means i'm gonna hit new okay cool so i'm gonna paste it here so what is this lsblk does is what have you got right now so if you see this so this one okay this is your new newly new volume which we created okay how i'm saying this because 15 gb we got it okay one minute i'll explain in another way okay uh so xvdf if you remember i'm going to the instance here okay and here i'm going to go to the volumes ec2 and then on the left side you have volumes so we have something called 15 GB which was created okay so that is there <laughs> yeah so 15 GB is there cool so if you verify so 15 GB is there okay but always remember guys okay the last one okay the last one is there mount point <coughs> this one the mount point okay so you should map this file this device into a mount point but here you do not have any mount point okay but only for xvda we have a mount point called slash which is a root slash is equal to root 
okay so what i'm saying slash is equal to root means if you see here cd space slash enter it means present working directory i'm in the root if you type ls minus l see all my files are there uh, i hope you guys know about this you know if you guys have uh, uh, obviously learned about linux before so slash is the main uh, root uh, file system okay uh, so now what we have done is i'm just typing ls blk <laughs> so this one xvda is mounted to this slash okay xvdf we did not mount it anywhere so we have to mount it that is our next step next stop i mean uh, uh, next step right now okay so how will you do it <clears throat> We have created a volume. We have attached a volume to the EC2 instance. So next is what we are going to do is we have to check whether file system, okay, for any volume which you created, make sure that whether file system is uh, available or not already, okay. So what is the command? Just type sudo. Okay, okay cool. Sudo, okay, file hyphen s then. Uh, slash okay before that I, I didn't I did not notify the exact path. Okay, the exact path is XVDF, right? Okay, cool. So I'll I'll do like this sudo hyphen I mean sudo space file hyphen s then slash dev slash then you have to copy this one. Okay, XVDF Slash or you just type it okay so if you get this kind of response it means that the new the volume which we have created it doesn't have any file system available so you cannot you know mount it it will not work so you need to create a file system in this device so how do you do that that is the next command the next command is sudo space mkfs space hyphen t space I'm going to create a file system called XFS. Okay. It is one of the file system. Okay. And then I'm going to make XVDF. So what I did is I'm doing sudo. I'm creating a, a command called MKFS, make file system, and then hyphen T. And then XFS is a file system, which I'm giving. Okay. If you ask me, what is X, see, what is XFS? You can always check in Google. See, XFS is a file system, one of the file system. Okay. So if you see what, uh, uh, what is the alternative file system for XFS? So it will give you a lot of other variants, uh, variations as well. See, so you got EXT, you have XFS, you have BTRFS. So a lot of file systems. So I'm just choosing, uh, you know, <coughs> got it. So, so ext4 is there, xfs is there, btrfs is there. So each and every file system is having different, different uh, performance things. So I've chosen xfs. Uh, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna learn other file systems also, you can go ahead and uh, read it out and then you can, uh, you know, create a file system accordingly. Cool. So sudo mkfs hyphen t xfs, then I'm just mapping this xvdf here. Okay, cool. I'm just hitting enter. So now what, what happened here is now a couple of things have happened. Magic has happened. Now I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to run this command again. Sudo space file hyphen s then slash dev xvdf hit enter. Now, if you see earlier, we got this, but now we got this. See the difference here. So if you got this kind of thing, it means that the file system has been created. Okay. So that is also done. So uh, we have achieved what? Create and mount of file systems. Okay. Created is done. Now mount is pending. So how do you mount it? We will see it right now. Okay. So for mounted, what I'm going to do is <coughs> for mounted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory called mkdir slash ebs testing, something like this. So I'm going, I am created. Okay. I'm see if you type present working directory, where am I? I'm in uh, slash, I'm in the main root. Okay. Now if you type LS minus LRT, so see this EBS testing is created. I created under root, I created this directory. So EBS testing is here. You got it? Okay. And who is the owner of it? Root is the owner and group owner is also root because since I've used sudo. Okay. Clear. Now I'm going to CD 
EBS testing. So where am I right now? PWD, I am in EBS testing. Okay, now next one is, next one is important, sudo mount mounted, okay, slash. Okay, before you do it, just remember lsblk, just remember this name. Okay, this is a block storage name, xvdf. So what I'm going to do is sudo space mount and then slash dev xvdf. Okay, then I'm gonna look, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, do this EBS testing here. Okay, slash EBS testing. So what I'm going, I'm going to mount this file system to EBS testing. So if I hit enter, so it is mounted right now. Okay, now if you type lsblk, See this? See the difference between this LSBLK and see the difference between this LSBLK. What is the difference you found? You found the mount point here in the last line, right? XVDF. It is empty. But after mounted, you are getting this. Okay. Now, you can type one more command. DF-K. See? Now, the I mean, I should have ran this command DF-K before I mount it. So you try this before you mount anything, you try df-k, you will not be getting slash dev xvdf entry. Okay, since I have uh, created the file system, I have mounted it, I'm getting this things here. Yeah, so <clears throat> this is one thing. And for testing purpose, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do something here, okay? So I'm gonna type echo. This is the beautiful session, something like this. And then I'm going to add a uh, hello Samir.txt file. Okay. Okay. I, I need a sudo for this. Okay. So I'll do sudo su. Then I'll do echo. This is the superb lesson. Okay. And then uh, hello Zulfi.txt. So now if you type ls minus l, I got ls minus l. I got hello Zulfi.txt. So if you see the hello Zulfi here, cat. So this is the superb lesson is a content. You got it? Now the file is here. Got it? Now where it is? It is under EBS testing folder. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot this machine. Okay. So sudo reboot or you can go ahead and uh, you know go to instances here. Right click and then reboot. Anything is fine. Just sit on reboot. It will take a minute or two so you can connect it. Now you cannot do anything. See I'm just typing something. It will not work. So it will take a minute or two. So let it reconnect. Then I'll tell you what exactly happened. Yeah. So I'll pause and pause the screen for a minute. Okay. Let's try to connect now, whether it works or not after the reboot. <coughs> okay. Perfect. Now we connected back. So what we did was we, ma we mounted, uh, the files i mean we created the file system we mounted it and then we created uh, some file and we put some content okay now what we are going to do is the first command is df hyphen k oh okay now if you see we did we did we did not have that xvdf something if you remember the previous one which i did which we did okay we had that uh, path but now that path is missing so we have we got only for root things root file system so if you do lsblk, see, only we are getting for xvda1, xvda1. We are not getting for xvdf. There is nothing called xvdf. But before we reboot, we had that. So how can you fix this issue? Okay. So for that, there is a there is a certain procedure. Okay. For every reboot, you don't need to do this. <coughs> this is a one-time activity. So sudo blkid, blkid, enter. So here you will get some UUID, which is a unique ID for each of, in, for each device, okay? This is for root device, this is a UUID, okay? And for uh, XVDF, the one which we created, uh, the new volume for that, this is a new things, okay? So what you have to do is, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy this UUID, okay? So I'm gonna open BI, vi space slash etc okay before that let me go to sudo better vi slash etc slash fs tab so if you do it so here you have to add the uuid for the xvdf 
okay so what i will do is so i'm gonna click on uh, down arrow okay let me let me enable the virtual keyboard so you will understand okay cool okay cool so what i'm doing is uh i'm gonna hit on uh, o nothing working oh escape O or I interesting okay let me try okay my keyboard is working though okay I'm just hitting the right arrow you can put the L key whatever okay and I'm just hitting a in the escape mode I be I became insert I'm just hitting enter so I'm typing UUID okay is equal to and then I'm going to hitting paste. I got it paste. Now what I'll do is, um, so what is the file system here? So slash EBS testing. You created the directory, right? So you have to add that. You have to give a space, then slash, then e EBS testing. Then you gave XFS file system. Then you gave defaults, comma, no fail. You don't need to know about defaults or no fail okay so what you're doing is you're giving the uuid which we copied it i'll tell you again how we copied it escape colon sh so you went here so lsc sudo blk id so here you got this xvdf you have the uid copy this okay copy this okay when you select this it means it is copied okay then you have to open the vi okay for now this is a U vi and you have only one entry in the first time. You have to add the second entry and you have to copy it. The copy the one which we copied from the UID, you have to paste it here. Then slash, then the mount point, the directory which we created. Then XFS is a file system. Then you add these things. Okay, defaults and no fill, you don't need to know that. Then what you have to do is save it. WQ exclamation. Now it is done. Okay, now if you want to see whether it is saved or not, what will you do? Cats, cats space slash etc fs tab. So the new UID is created. Okay, now what we're going to do? sudo mount hyphen a. You need to execute this command. Okay, then cd space ebs test ting enter. Okay, now if you type ls minus la, see, <coughs> I'm going to exit it. So I'm going to do CD EBS testing, enter, LS minus LA. Okay, where is the file gone then? Yes, testing. Oh, we don't have the file at all. Hmm, interesting. We don't have a file. So, there is a problem here. So LS BLK. So we got EBS testing, okay, DF-K, we have that, okay. Uh, I do remember we had created the file, yeah. So CD slash LS, we have it, CD EBS testing, LS, we don't have it, interesting. Okay, so let me try to create the file one more time, summit.txt, okay, without anything there. The sudo su, and then I'm gonna touch, okay ls okay touch sami.txt ls okay you have sami.txt good you don't have anything there uh, cat sami.txt ls okay now i'm going to reboot this machine and then we will see whether uh whether the device comes up whether we have the same file or not okay maybe in the first time maybe i might have deleted and i'm not sure what went wrong but this time we will see Okay, I'm pausing the video for a minute. Okay, now let's see whether uh, it is rebooted or not. Okay. Just give me a minute. Uh, so I'm gonna launch the instance again. Connect, connect. Okay, cool. Now I'm just typing lsblk. Okay, see the point is there. Good. Now I'm typing df-k. Okay, so that is also xvdf is also there. 
now I'm gonna type cd slash EBS testing okay see I have the file so even though when you're rebooting the machine right now after we did some step uh, which we add some UUID in uh, etcfs tab even if you reboot we are good with that yeah so that's what I wanna talk about this uh, for this yeah thank you guys and uh, now what we will do is um, we will talk about one more thing here so uh, now now if you see semi.txt file is there under EBS testing right now what we will do is I'm gonna uh, this is an instance okay this is a volume <coughs> okay and in the volumes if you see so in the volume if you see I'm gonna this is the attack newly one which we created it okay and I'm gonna uh, you know detach the volume right now okay so forcefully detach the volume just type detach I'm forcefully detaching it I mean don't do forcefully detach usually you have to try uh, you know uh, detach if you have a detached volume enabled uh, but, but since I am just doing it for a testing purpose just going for the forcefully detached volume so now if you scroll right uh, if you if you keep refreshing it will be in available mode okay now if you go to the instances and then demo machine and then hit on connect and then connect then now if you type uh, lsblk okay so it is there but let me check df hyphen k it is also there ls okay maybe it takes some time let's wait I'll just pause it for a minute okay guys uh, there is one new thing which I found out maybe I forgot uh, so um, it's not if there are two things which you have to do you have to detach it from the instance which we did it the volume okay and also you have to run this command okay unmount hyphen D uh, U mount sorry so it's U mount okay let me sudo su so you mount hyphen D then slash dev slash XVDF so this is the one which we are taking it enter so now if you type LSBLK so you will not have it and also DF hyphen K so you will not have it so we have if you go to CD slash LS minus L so there is no EBS testing folder is there okay CD EBS testing okay cat hello Zulfi is there okay so that is the one which we have saved it that's all okay but right now we have unmounted the volume which is uh, which we created it so now what we will do here is <coughs> we will try to launch a new instance and then we will try to uh, attach that volumes which we uh, which we detach it right now okay which is an available mode newly created volume so I'm gonna instance and then I'm gonna hit on launch instances free tier only select next config instance details next add storage okay so I'm gonna keep the storage for now this is my name evening machine uh, for testing something like this and then configure I'm gonna do this one review and launch launch and then I'm gonna choose proceed without a key pair launch instances so let it come up okay now let's see whether instance is uh, running yeah instance is running and if you see the volumes here um, let me see refresh it so there is something like this volume this is a root volume for the new instance which we created it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this volume into the new EC2 machine okay so for that I'm just actions and then attach volume and then here instance and then I'm gonna attach it to the new instance okay and then I'm gonna hit on attach volume okay now if you hit on instances directly it will take a minute or two to reflect here so I waited for around five minutes so I got the second one okay now I'm hitting on connect I'm connecting to the new machine hit on connect 
Okay, cool. So I'm just doing a sudo yam update dash y. Okay, perfect. So this is done. So what is the co first command which we normally do is lsblk. So now if you see uh, xvdf is already there in 15 GB which we added. Okay, now what is it? What, what are the other command df-k? Okay, that is also there. Okay, now what is the uh, that is also okay that is not there which is not yet added actually which we did not mount it yet. Okay, that is the next thing. Okay, but before that just want to make sure that whether this file okay that is lsblk so whether this 15 gb which we added right now whether it is having any file system we are we are sure that we have created the file system before but just to make sure sudo space file hyphen s slash dev slash xvdf so obviously we have the file system okay now the next one is uh, we are going to <coughs> mount it okay if you mount it only we can see the data inside it so how, how are you going to mount it i'm going to make a directory here okay cd slash enter sudo su so i'm going to make a directory ebs new test something like this okay i've created a where now i'm going to shoot i'm going to mount it mount mount okay slash dev slash xvdf slash okay slash ebs new test so now i have mounted it okay now i'm going to go for ebs new test okay now ls you got sami.txt already see i already have it so this is how you can save the data okay and you can move from one device to another device so just see the video again what we did so you will understand more on that and if you want to mount it so it's nothing u m o u n t u mount hyphen d then slash dev slash x v d f which is nothing but your this one so when you do that if you hit enter okay target is busy it's doing something so let's wait for it so uh, let me do it from the outside of this u mount hyphen d slash dev xvdf okay now if i do lsblk it is coming up that's okay df hyphen k okay now it is gone now it is unmounted successfully okay perfect so so you don't have any files right now see there is nothing is there sami.txt is gone because it is with the device so that's all uh, from my end guys so just re-watch this video to understand better yeah thank you so much bye